What's up, guys? Today's episode, I'm gonna do something a little different. I have driven by this store I, probably hundreds of times, and the last time I did, I asked my wife, what is that store? What What is a Sierra Trading Post? What is the Sierra Trading Post? And she said to me, she said, well, it's kind of like a discount store, like, like here we have Ross and Marshalls and all of these types of stores. Well, apparently, the Sierra Trading Post is like that, but for outdoor gear. Let's go see what's inside. Okay, so we're checking out the Sierra Trading Post, and I was absolutely floored to come in and find out that right at the front door, sure enough, this is exactly what my wife said. It's part of this same complex of stores. They're all sister stores, and the concept here is pretty similar if you haven't been to one. Basically, they are getting gear from brick-and-mortar stores that weren't able to sell and they're marking it down at deep discounts. We're talking 30 to 50, even 75% off sometimes, depending on what they get and how far they mark it down. You can see from the video here that we found lots of great deals on backpacks and trekking poles. All sorts of cool things like that are available at super, super low prices compared to paying full price at regular retail outlets. The thing that probably impressed me the most is the wide range of gear too. Some of these pictures that I took are some of the more affordable options that they had. But I was able to find things that were like $250 backpacks, suggested retail price, marked down. So if you're in the mood for some high price gear, some high quality gear, you may be able to find it at a really nice discount in these types of stores. So the business concept here is pretty simple. They have the same basic sections that you'll find at regular department stores. They had a men's section, a women's section, a children's section. They also had some footwear, they had a pretty nice pet section with outdoor gear for your dogs if you like to take them hiking and on your adventures. And then they had some sections with gear where you could find fishing gear and camping gear and other interesting things for your outdoor adventures. So just a real quick run through the different sections of the store that I checked out. They had some pretty nice footwear available. They had everything from tennis shoes to rock climbing shoes and lots of different hiking boots. The apparel section was absolutely loaded with everything from outdoor exercise equipment to this quick example of a insulated poncho that I found that was intriguing looking. They had a great section of hammocks and hammock gear like under quilts and hammock straps and different sizes of hammocks. And then the camping gear was probably one of my favorite sections. They had just all sorts of stuff bags and cordage and different tools that you might need. And a small section of knives and multi-tools that might have included some of the most epic finds in the entire store on the day that I was there. Um, we did find this interesting High Sierra multi-tool. Pretty affordable price on this if you're in search of a multi-tool. I couldn't believe it was only $15 for something like this. Um, I've been eyeballing this candle lantern for a while, the Uko, and 12 bucks. Like, that's a pretty nice discount on a nice little prep item. They also had some stormproof matches that were a super affordable price, 25 of these in here for only four bucks. I'm not quite sure that that didn't leave the store with me, but this right here, the Mora Bushcraft Black, was probably the best find in the whole store. I'm kicking myself for not buying it. $40 for that knife kit, guys. That's an insane price. Everywhere I've looked online, it's over $50. So that would have been a good deal to pick up. Well, she was totally right. I'm gonna jump in the truck right here and I'll tell you what I think about it really quick. Okay, it's probably much quieter in here than it was out there, sorry about that. So yeah, if it doesn't come through in that last video, there's a lot of traffic. This is right next to the interstate. Um, she was totally right, like like not even totally right, like completely 100% on right because this store, Sierra Trading Post, is connected. It's a sister store 
to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all those types of places. So that's exactly what it's like in there. I didn't want to film any video in there because I, I don't. I'm kind of new to this, and I don't know how people might get uncomfortable about that sometimes. But you've seen all the pictures of, that I took of different gear that was in there. Um, I mean, it's everything, right? Like they got backpacks, they've got camping stuff, they've got ski equipment, they've got outdoor gear, sleeping bags, tons of hammock stuff. Like I'm super excited to get a hammock and try out the hammock camping thing. They had everything, hammock straps, hammocks, under quilts, the, the tarps to go over the top and even little lights to hang from a ridgeline so that you had some light in there. So if you're, this is my, my 10 cent take on this place. If you're kind of new to this whole having fun in the outdoors, you know, survival, camping, day packing, whatever, right? If you're into that kind of thing and you're out here checking that stuff out and you're looking for some budget gear that you can get some high quality stuff at affordable prices, this place is worth checking out for the same reasons a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx is, right? Like they have high quality stuff, name brand stuff, deep discounts. You've seen some of the pictures that I voiced over already. More knives, like almost half off. High level, high quality backpacks, high level jackets, high level base layers. Like, I'm a little excited if you can't tell. Anyway, it's a pretty cool place. It is, you know, like those other stores, it's the diamond in the rough, right? Like you gotta kinda filter through everything to find the good stuff, but some of us, we kind of enjoy that that bit of hunt and that shopping adventure. So anyway, I would definitely check them out and I would check them out often, right? Like they, they have gear cycling through like all of those other stores do. So you never really know what's gonna be in there. I'm sure it's semi-seasonal. So definitely the kind of place that I would add to my normal, you know, I went to town to do a little bit of shopping. I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can find some good deals on some great products. So anyway, for what it's worth, it might be worth checking out. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Definitely a place to add to your stopping list, shopping, we're gonna edit that part out.